Hey, 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 everyone. It's me, nurse practitioner, Dr. Katina. I am here with another educational video. I may not talk about everything in the video, but this is just giving you just some tips on how to, guess what? Dun, dun, dun. How to properly apply a male uh, condom. I don't have my female condoms at this time, but video, stay tuned. And, and for those of you all who are just knowing who I am, I've been around for years, make sure you subscribe and like and follow my YouTube video, my YouTube page at Dr. Katina, D-R-K-A-T-I-N-A. -A. All right, so let's get to it. So first things first, there are different types of condoms, right? You have your latex, your non-latex, your lambskins, you know, there's so many, they, condoms have advanced today, all right? So first things first, you got to make sure your partner does not have an allergy to latex because if he or she does, you can give them allergic reaction. You don't want them to be feeling on fire after, you know, sexual intercourse. So you have to make sure they're not allergic to latex. Magnums, latex, you have your lifestyles, non-latex, your Trojans, uh, some latex. So again, find which one works for you. Number two, you have to make sure you check the expiration date. Yes, I know some of you all, you have your condoms in your bag for years and years, but when you take one out to use it, you got to make sure you check the expiration date. Some of them have the expiration date on the front of it. Um, looking at this Magnum here, this is on the front. The uh, Lifestyle has theirs on the back. So you have to see, you know, where it has it, but you have to check that and make sure it's not expired. And as we know, condoms are used to, or it's intended, if it's used right, to prevent pregnancy, HIV, AIDS, and some sexually transmitted diseases. Not all. We know not all. Because if you got a herpes lesions at the, the base of your pu uh, penis or your uh, pubic area, you know, and if it touches the skin, then you can get the herpatic lesion or the wart that way. Or if you have a wart on the scrotum, the scrotum does, is not covered or protected. So it's a chance that the genital wart can be passed that way. Um, um, but that's all talked about in my book. So let's talk sex and STDs if you want to check out my book and, and, and hear more about STDs. It's on Amazon. All right. Anyway, back to this. So you that's what it's intended for. OK. All right. So you want to open it up. All right. And when you open it, I practice, y'all. <laughs> I'm married. I haven't used condoms in years. <laughs> but the first thing you want to do is you want to tear it along the ridge here. OK. Tear it along the ridge. And the reason we want to tear it along the ridge is because if you don't, if you tear it this way, there's a chance that you may actually tear the condom that's inside. So practice on tearing that ridge, okay? You want to take it out. Now, you want to put it on a, oh yeah, I don't have a banana or a, a cucumber, so I'm using my sex stevia. Yes, my all-natural personal lubrication. Don't forget, visit my website, sexstevia.com, if you need some lubrication. It's always good to, it enhances anal and vaginal sex. Oh, and speaking of lubrication, not all lubes are good for condom use, all right? So you have to find out oil-based lubes you can't use with condoms. You have to use your water-based lubes. All right, so back to it. First of all, you want to make sure the penis is erect, all right, before you put it on. Now, you're going to have to shop around and um, find out which uh, condom works best for you. Please, if you're not an extra large, don't get the extra large condom. There's a chance it's going to fall off or be found by me the next on the next exam when the patient come in and I find a condom inside of the vagina. Yes, that has happened so many times. <laughs> so you have to make sure that it's properly fits. Okay. And then you want to put it on the erected penis and then you want to put it all the way down. Now you have to leave like half an inch here at the tip to get the air out. You want to keep all the air out because if you don't, there's a chance that it may pop and we don't want that. All right. Also, you want to bring it all the way down. All right. So remember half an inch, make sure that air is out. Bring it all the way down to the base of the penis. You got it. All right. Now, when you are discarding your penis, I mean, you're <laughs> discarding your uh, condoms, you want to make sure you don't just throw them away. It is going to be a little messier. So take your time and just pull, pull the condom from off of the penis. It's filled with semen at that point. And, you know, you'll see the, the semen inside, but you want to make sure that you put it inside of a paper 
and discard it. Do not just throw it away on the ground. Don't just, you know, flush it down the toilet. Sometimes it can get stuck in the toilet, so it depends on where you are. But I would suggest wrap it up, and then you can flush it down the toilet or put it in the garbage can, but please wrap it up. Don't just throw it out in any kind of way. All right, so... um. <sighs> that's a lot. Yeah, it's going to take practice. Find out what works for you. And um, that's the tips for the day on how to put on a condom, a male condom. Stay tuned, women. Don't worry. I will get you. I'll get a video for the female condom soon. But check out my website, drkatinakennedy.com. Also, my YouTube. I'm telling y'all, if y'all missing, y'all missing out on my YouTube videos, my past YouTube videos, it's D-R-K-A-T-I-N-A. All right, until next time.